Okay, wow. Hello everybody, I am Jeremy and welcome to Cheat Day. Today is a special day for me because I've actually never had Culver's. I just never have. Uh, maybe it's the color of their blue buildings or something. To me, I don't know, blue's not like a hungry or appetizing color, but for whatever reason, I've just never tried them. Uh, today, they brought back the Curter Burger. I guess it was out for limited time last year, uh, which started as a April Fool's Day joke, I guess, on National Cheese Curd Day. I'm not sure how long it was out, but regardless, the, uh, the girl that helped me through the drive-through, she said I would have been the first one to have been served one, but she had one earlier in the day. But apparently I was the first customer to have one where I live, so that's kind of cool. Um, Price-wise, I can't remember what it was at, and this receipt doesn't break it down. But I also got this thing I'm really looking forward to trying. I have to read it, it's long. Salted Caramel Pumpkin Concrete Mixer. Uh, this has got, uh, consists of signature vanilla fresh frozen custard handcraft, handcrafted with ribbons of old fashioned salted caramel and pureed pumpkin. I'm so excited to try this pureed pumpkin versus that pump that I saw of the pumpkin syrup that went into the shake at, or was that Jack in the Box? It was really good, but this apparently has pureed pumpkin inside, so I'm excited. It looks really thick. It's a concrete versus a shake, I guess, so that just makes it thicker. Anyway. Onto this burger. Napkins. I always like my napkins. Oh, it's got a fancy box. Wow. Everyone is really pushing their apps. Connect the curds. Huh. I don't know. I definitely don't need more stuff on my phone, but. Okay, so Culver's, the burgers come in a nice little box. Let's open this up. I'll actually let you guys see it first. Oh, that's funny. I open it and it's <laughs> turned around. Well, I tried, okay. Uh, let's see, first, uh, first impressions, the Top of the bun is completely like smashed in. <laughs> um, first impressions, not to be negative, it, it's a good looking burger. It looks like it's it's been, looks like it's been built with some love. But the bun reminds me of like Wonder Bread, like a white bread, cheap hamburger bun. I'm just going off of what it looks like. It could be the best bun in the world for all I know. I'm just saying, it reminds me of going to like a barbecue and just a run of the mill, generic white bread hamburger bun. But like I said, could be amazing. Uh, wow. That's crazy, look at that. Huge cheese curd right on top. I mean, it's the size of, it's the size of the patty underneath. Ooh, okay, wow. The Okay, the patty is not, not that big, it's not that thick, but it's a smashed style. I've never, like I said, I, I don't know anything, unfortunately, about Culver's, I've never had it. But that reminds me, there was a place where I grew up, uh, GD Ritzy's. I definitely know they're not still around, but they had a 50 style burger that was smashed. They had the Cincinnati's sauce that you could pour on the burger. Man, it was awesome. Unfortunately, they went out of business, but that was a long time ago. Let's get a better look at this thing. So obviously there's a lot going on on this burger. I'm really excited to try it. All right, so we got the, the bun, obviously. The giant cheese curd, fried cheese curd, the patty, some 
American cheese, some lettuce, tomato, fresh, uh, fresh raw onion, pickle, and mayonnaise. I, I'm assuming that's mayonnaise. And it, like I said, it looks like it was put together with some love. So let's try this thing. I'm gonna take it out of its little wrapper. Ah, don't need that. It's just gonna get in the way. Um, I just about knocked over that shake. That would have been really hilarious. <laughs> uh, here we go. Wow, this is a big burger. <laughs> like, I'm gonna try to get my mouth around that. I'm gonna have to squish it down a little bit. Here we go. Oh my God. The slice of American cheese on that is a little redundant. Like, why bother? Whatever. There's a lot going on. I definitely like mayo on burgers. Every time there's mayo and I can taste it on a burger, first thing I always think of is a Whopper. If I threw some ketchup on it, pretty sure a Whopper also has ketchup. This would taste probably, you know, reminiscent of a Whopper. So this giant cheese curd, I'm not really tasting that it's there. Um, I'm getting a lot of great crunch from the lettuce and the tomato and those thick cuts of onion. I like that. I love a good textured anything food-wise. I love something that's like soft and crispy uh, at the same time. And this, this hamburger bun, you know, it's nice and soft on the outside and then everything inside is crispy. Uh, I'm going to try to get a just a piece of this fried cheese curd this has got a lot of cheese it's good it's not like um it's not like like a a lot of mozzarella sticks or something, fried mozzarella sticks, they can be really, really bam rich in flavor. That's not like this. This is a, a, a much more gentle flavor. It's very, doesn't taste overly like greasy or anything like that considering it's fried, well, breaded and fried cheese. Sorry, I want to talk, but I also don't want to talk with my mouth full. If you're expecting a gooey, cheesy burger, that's not what this is. The cheese is definitely, it's, it's almost congealing a bit. It's turning into you know, I, I don't know. I mean, I just got this thing and it's nice and nice and warm, but it's not like, like I say, it's not a gooey liquidy type of cheeseburger. Uh, I guess I was almost expecting that. I think that's okay. Um, I almost wish it had a little bit more going on from the standpoint of a sauce. I think it's good. I almost want to try a little bit of ketchup on it, but it doesn't come that way. So I'm trying to judge it on its own. It is good. See that beef? 
I love that. I have not seen that in a while. I guess that is kind of more like a Freddy's or uh, in and out style, which I really like that style of beef. Yeah, I mean, it's like thin, ultra caramelized. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but. I wish, oh man, that's good. Yeah, that's good. I'm guessing they use a flat top grill rather than a charbroiler. You're not gonna be able to get that flat, smashed burger style patty on a uh, charbroiler. And that's okay with me, because I, I prefer this style. Looks like a decent pickle too. Um, they definitely, ooh, nice crinkle cut there. I don't know if this is a kosher pickle. That's a good pickle. Oh my God, way better. Sorry, McDonald's, your pickles suck. This is a good pickle. This is a good burger. I would definitely be curious to try more of their menu. Mmm. I like the fresh red onion as well. Red onion. I like white onion on burgers. But white onion's got it's got more bite. Red onion, yellow onion, sweeter, a little little more mild. This is good. I just I wish it Barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce, I hate to say, would go really good. I, I can just tell. I know that sweetness would go well and adding some some moisture to it. But this is a good burger. I like it. And especially the price. Like uh, both of these, and I haven't even tried this yet. You know, it was $12.20 after tax. That ain't bad. Let's try this salted caramel pumpkin concrete mixer. It's thick. Can I just say, one of the things that I love about doing this channel is all of the awesome milkshakes that I've been trying lately. Because usually I stay away from this stuff. But, you know, I've had to put a little bit more cardio into my routine through the week, but <clears throat> it's worth it. Okay, so that is uh, that tastes like pumpkin pie. The um, the shake from Jack in the Box, the Basic Witch, is really good. It's a really good ultra sweet dessert that is loaded with pumpkin spice type of flavors. Like, you know, you got some cinnamon and nutmeg for sure. Nutmeg, I remember, was sticking out pretty good on that. Um, this is not that. This is a more dynamic, more complex dessert. It definitely has pumpkin puree. If it didn't, they nailed the, you know, the taste of pumpkin puree. This tastes more like pumpkin pie. As far as uh, salted caramel, I'm not even, oh, probably because all the caramel is on the side of this thing. Let me try to get some on up onto the spoon. Yeah, there's the caramel. Interesting, interesting. Um, the caramel with the pumpkin, it's good. It's unorthodox. Uh, it's different though. I, I don't think everyone would like this one. This is something new from them. They also had the pumpkin spice shake, but I really want to try this. Salted caramel along with the pumpkin. I, I'm almost curious if I would have liked the pumpkin spice better. I might have to go back and try it, but uh, so far this is really good. 
my wife would love this. She would absolutely love this. And here's the problem. It's really good and I'm probably gonna have to finish it. Maybe I'll save some, I'll throw it in the freezer, but she's gonna be watching this thinking, why the hell didn't you save me any? So I'll just have to take her to Culver's, get her a burger, grab her one of these shakes. It's just another excuse to spend time with her. I love her more than anything. I'm gonna wrap it up right here. This burger's good. Um, I don't know if I, uh, I'm, I'm right there, I'm giving it two thumbs up. Definitely off one thumbs up. Overall package for $12.20 for all of this, it's good quality. Because of that, I'm gonna give it two thumbs up. It's not the best burger I've had in my life. Honestly, I was maybe expecting it to be a little bit better, but there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing bad about it. It's a good burger. I'm excited to try some more stuff from Culver's. I'm gonna stop rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for smashing those like buttons and all of you guys that have been subscribing, really helping my channel grow. I really appreciate it. I have no plans on stopping this channel, so you might as well just like this video and subscribe. I will see you guys as soon as I can. Have a great day. Bye-bye.